Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my kids bedrooms, closets and their drawers. Um, the first week of January I got rid of so much of their clothes that didn't fit anymore. Like I really just purged so much. Um, I got rid of like their clothes, my clothes that we just haven't worn, doesn't fit and stuff like that. So I try to do this twice a year. I also do this um, when the seasons change because I kind of like rotate their clothes like from um, winter to spring and stuff like that. But what we're going to do today is um, I'm going to go through the clothes again one more time because I swear like when I do it the first time, I do like leave some clothes thinking, oh, they might wear this again, you know. So I do it again in case I miss something. Take that out. And I'm going to kind of just organize the closet like I feel like I'm digging for clothes and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. And then in their drawers, I'm going to try to fold their clothing um, like KonMari style. I just feel like folded, stacked, I reach for the same 10 t-shirts of my son's or like maybe 5 t-shirts, you know. And I feel like the other way when you can see the shirts, um, the clothing I guess I should say, I feel like you can, you end up reaching for different clothing. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you want to see how my kids' closets turned out, then just keep on watching. Okay, so as you can see, the closet is not a really big closet. So I try to keep it very minimal. I try to keep um, what they need, what they use. I try not to have way too much stuff because then, honestly, we don't go through the clothes and they end up not wearing it and stuff like that. So right on this side, I have um, my son's like thicker pajama, like the fleece pajama. And I hang these because I feel like they're very bulky and and I feel that in the drawers it takes up a lot of space. Do you see how much like this is a lot, right? This way now I have space to kind of like do this and see and look through the clothes. So I'm going to start going through the clothes and getting rid of what he doesn't need, what doesn't fit anymore. loves I can't believe how good this looks I can't believe how much space I made um this is amazing so I ended up hanging all of his swimwear down there like shorts and tops got rid of the ones that don't fit him and then like I said Christmas like wear uh button downs and then down here is just some bins with my favorite little baby clothes that I have had that I could actually put it down in the basement this has sheets and then that basket there has sheets and this one also has like pillowcases and stuff like that. So here's the side. I kept the pants that he, we're gonna keep. And then down here are just like his like sweaters like for school and um, stuff like that. So that is pretty cool. I ended up hanging a couple of collared shirts there and it looks great. I have space. I can see what I have. I mean, look at the space down there. If I wanna hang a couple things, I do have, um, a load in the laundry, a load in the dryer, but I think we'll be fine. And then up here, I have like little uh, blankets that um, I don't know why I'm holding on to. I probably can get rid of those too. And then this bin just has like baby things that I'm saving and then Disney stuff. So I can probably organize that a little better. So overall, it looks really good. So let's move on to the drawers. I do have a couple of new shorts that I have to hang. I forgot to do that. Um, drawers. So... Here's his pajamas. I I want to get this organized. I like him for him to wear like the matching set and it's just crazy. This drawer, I always have a hard time finding like his undergarments, t-shirts, tank tops and stuff like that. So it definitely has to be organized. 
and then we have t-shirts which they just have to be organized so let's just go ahead and get started and the shirts just gonna fold them like this it's under t-shirts like this and like this one more time and then it stays standing right or you can do this like this and then you fold one more time and then it stands up too so however you like to do it I like it like this actually and then just stand it up <clears throat> always had like his t-shirts stacked you know and I feel like I would always reach for the same five t-shirts for school and then like the same five t-shirts for the weekend so I think that them being like this in the drawer I will reach for different ones like these some of these have tags because they were under um t-shirts that I just forgot he had so you know instead of going out buying and buying you, you'll be able to see what you have so um I mean, for the most part, it was kind of folded a little bit neatly because I, I would just fold them like this and then just stack them, but I don't see what he has, so we're going to do it this way. Okay, so in this drawer, I got rid of a lot of socks that don't fit anymore or that he is just not using. And um, I just kept what we are using. So socks, new socks, some that um, he's been wearing, some like sock slippers, and then white tees, tank tops. And I just love how they're folded. I can see what's like where it is and where I can grab it before it was just too overpacked and overflowing. Next drawer, I have t-shirts for school. So what I have is, I just love how I can see what t-shirt it is. Like before, I never knew what shirt it was. I had to take everything out, take everything out, and now I know exactly what it is. So now I can see, over here are some tank tops for the summertime, some summer t-shirts, and then like some nicer um, tops, like all his like pretty polo ones. And then these are all for school. I know what it is just by looking right like this. I don't have to take anything out. These are all like Nike t-shirts and like just perfect for school. And then same with these, just like his everyday t-shirts and stuff like that. And I do have more space, which is good because I know that I have some shirts that I have to put in here. So that's great. And then like he has long sleeves and that's pretty much just for the winter time. So I love it, you guys. Okay, so with the pajamas, I like to keep the top and the bottom together um I just like to have them like matching so we're gonna go ahead and do that
All right, ladies. And then in here, I love it. Um, I put all of his p uh, pajama sets in order. Like these are um, like holidays, Christmas pajamas, you know, his, um, let's see, like, what are all these like firefighter cars and stuff like that and then he has a couple of the dino tigers which are in the dryer a couple more mickey mouse pajamas that are in the dryer and then just other pajamas but again they're like it with the top and the bottom and he's able to come in here grab his pajama and then get dressed so i just love it i love what pajama i'm looking at i can see what i'm reaching for this is just the best and here i ended up folding these bulky warm footed pajamas which I usually hang these so we're gonna give this a try so I'm gonna give this a try see if I like it um if not I'll end up hanging it since there's tons of space in the closet now um but I have all of his warm footed pajamas for the winter time um and then like some thin footed pajamas in here so we'll see over here I ended up putting his shorts and short sleeve pajamas when it gets warmer and then here I have his shorts for school and then like dressy shorts to go out in. So he'll definitely need new shorts coming like when it gets warm. I kept the ones that are like four or five and then like that looked a little bigger. <clears throat> so that's what that looks like. I'm I just can't believe how much stuff I'm getting rid of that doesn't even fit them that I've had in the drawers that I've had hanging or just stuff that we keep holding on to and it is time to let go of it. So all of this stuff in the bed, all the stuff on the floor is gonna be donated. I might sell some stuff that's like name brand like polo and stuff like that but all of it is going to be donated so i'm so excited let's move on to my daughter's bedroom next <laughs> all right my loves so we're in my daughter's bedroom and we have the same size closet and um this these drawers right here to work with and we're going to do the same thing i'm gonna um i did this again like i said in january but i did keep certain things that i was like oh i know what we will use it or whatever but it's just time to get rid of it as well so let's get started i feel like it's just very cluttered <sighs> not organized i have i again i like to keep the thick warm pajamas on this side over here but now i have dresses over here and i know a lot of this stuff i mean doesn't fit i have to really get in here up top i mean i have like ipad stuff i have a lot of change pads i need to organize it a little better In my last um, little haul I did for the kids, I knew that I needed to get her like new summer dresses because a lot of them were like a tutti and they don't fit anymore. So I'm definitely gonna need to buy her more of those. Want your bathing suit on? Want your robe on? Get your robe. Bring it to mommy. Come here. Come here. She wants to put on her little um, flower girl robe. From when she was a flower girl. Do you want to show the camera? <gasps> oh, look at how cute you look in the robe. Okay, go ahead. Be careful with the camera. Thank you. So, this is all the clothes that I am getting rid of. I have a lot of diaper bags down there, which I'm going to get rid of some. And the other ones I'm going to organize. But, um, obviously I was holding on to some things that I knew that didn't fit her anymore. But like, you know, like her holiday dresses and Easter dresses, like they don't fit anymore. So we got to get rid of them. Okay, so we are now going to continue on the drawers. Um... Same thing I did to my son's drawers. Gonna open them up, get rid of what doesn't fit anymore. And here, I actually recently bought her new stuff. I can organize that too. Um, and just organize it again, same way that I did with my son's t-shirt. So
All right, guys, I am so excited because I got rid of more than I expected. I was definitely holding on to some things that I just I didn't want to get rid of, but it's time to get rid of them and let go. So I'm going to quickly show you the drawers. So on the top drawer, I kept all her daily t-shirts that she wears, you know, long sleeves. All these are long sleeves. And then these are tank tops for the summer and like some summer um, pajamas. In this second drawer, I kept but got rid of a lot of onesies. Um, we're potty training Madison. So eventually, I won't need any of this, but I just kept a few to have at least for like the rest of the winter. A little bit of springtime, depending on how long it takes me. But um, I just kept, I think I had like 10 of these and I didn't need that many. So I kept... Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five long sleeves. So like for now in the winter time, then short sleeve onesies. And then these are like Halloween, Christmas, um, long sleeves and pajamas. So I might put that away. I'm not sure, but for now it's gonna stay there. And in this third drawer, I have all of her pants. I decided, um, I had some hanging and I was like, you know what, I have space now in the drawer. So I have, um, so I have all like her little leggings and then her uh, like thick pants and and I have some shorts here and she definitely need, will need some shorts um, when it gets warmer. And then this fourth drawer, I have all of her pajamas. You guys, I always have really cute pajamas because, so I was saying, um, I always have like cute pajamas because when we're home, we are always in pajamas. Um, like if we go out, come back home, we get into our pajamas and comfy clothes. So here's all her like um, two piece pajamas, all of these are like and they're all with its set like the bottom and the top so there's no confusion my husband can get a pajama without you know everything's in its place her little gowns and some Christmas pajamas well actually these are all Christmas pajamas and just like their warm footed sleepers as well she only has three because I had like five more that kind of fit really snug on her so I figured you know what it's time to get rid of them if I need any more I'll get maybe two more that fit her but I think really this is perfect so that's that and then the last drawer is her sock drawer like summer hats little um like leggings and that's pretty much it she also got new socks so I got rid of a lot of her baby socks that um didn't fit her anymore and that's what that looks like guys back in here I can't believe I'm always like oh I need more hangers no I don't I just didn't get rid of a lot of stuff that I had um so up here for now since it's winter time I have like sweaters all of these are sweaters and then down here I have like uh summer dresses and then when the weather gets warmer I'll switch it from sweaters to dresses and then on this side sweaters um, this will eventually be organized, but it's like our Disney stuff. And then down here is all our um, bathing suits, all her bathing suits and stuff like that. So, and then her summer dresses that fit her, but some I will have to get a couple of new ones. And then in here, I just have like summer hats that didn't fit in that bottom drawer and some, sh some summer clothes that I put away for her. And then this has just blankets. And you guys, I can't believe how clean and beautiful this looks. I'll probably end up putting some diaper bags down below that I'm going to keep. But I definitely have to get rid of Here some. Here is our mess, you guys. So I have more hangers. And then this is all stuff that I'm going to donate. And then I already started putting it in the bag. But so pretty much, I think I'm going to have two full bags for Madison and one full bag for Noah stuff that I'm going to get rid of. I'm actually going to keep the diaper bag still. But, um... Maybe I'll try to sell them online. I'm not sure yet, but <clears throat> that's pretty much it. And then over here, I just hung her cute little robes that she wears, and I hung her cute little Pottery Barn uh, diaper, a little like bag there, and that's it. All right, loves. I am so excited how everything turned out. And remember, it's okay if you save a few little outfits that are very sentimental to you. Of course, I'm gonna keep a couple of my favorite, maybe like dresses or whatever it is that I have like an emotional attachment to, but you don't want to keep a whole bag because then you're going back to the same thing, kind of like keeping all the stuff that you don't need. So a couple of things, it's okay to keep and do what I did. I did this in January, okay, so a month ago, and I already had gone through their closet. So I was holding on to some stuff that didn't fit her, but I had some like attachment, like emotional attachment to it. I went back in again and I said, why? And just got rid of it like I don't need it so I'm gonna keep a couple of things but I'm getting rid of all of the stuff that I showed you guys 
and it just feels so nice and I have all this room like I said I always complain that the quads are too small but it's amazing once you take out what you don't need you actually have all the space that you need so all right, my loves, so that is it for today. I hope that I've motivated you in some way to declutter and purge and organize, whether it's your closet or your kids' closets. I just, I mean, it just feels so good to get rid of all of this stuff, give it to someone else that can make use of it. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties.